Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Summon Lush video. I'm so sorry guys that we have not uploaded in probably three weeks now. Uh, I am super sorry. We should have a double upload today and I hope you guys are going to enjoy both these videos. If you do, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Actually, you know what? You don't, don't, don't please subscribe. It'd be super appreciated if you, know, you liked our videos, if you would subscribe. <coughs> But today, guys, we are going to be doing a video on the top five cars under $250,000 in GTA 5 Online. And the reason being is because I know that there's a lot of new people or new players in Grand Theft Auto 5 that come all the time. And maybe you don't know what's the best uh, car that you can get, the best bang for your buck. So I'm going to be discussing that in this video. And let's just get it started. I don't want to waste your guys' time. I've already wasted a minute. I want this video to be nice quick for you guys to go and watch, so let me shut up and let's get going. Boom. And guys, for car number one, we have the Pifster Comet at 100000 This is a great option for people because of the fact that it's the cheapest car on Legendary Motorsport. And then if you don't like um, the way the, the Comet looks originally, after you buy the Comet and maybe once you get some more money after you're done being a beginner... And you know you're done and you've done some heists and you got a house and stuff you can go you could take this to Benny's pay like four hundred and fifty thousand maybe five hundred thousand and actually get the retro comet which I will show you guys here which looks twice as good and I do believe that it performs a lot better than the original comet I personally just switched over because of the fact that it looks so much better than the comet it adds a wide body and gives it that classical look but this is a great uh, car for any beginner it's the cheapest on legendary motorsports it's just a good option it's better than some sports cars but it's worse than some as well but for number five guys it's a solid pick because it's the cheapest car on legendary motorsports at a hundred thousand so let's move on guys for car number four we have the Feltzer now this car was kind of a hard decision to put on here but this is so opinionated uh, a lot of people may not like this car, but I personally love the way this car looks. It is probably my favorite car in GTA 5 Online or GTA 5 in general. It is the sexiest car I've ever seen in the game. You could do decent modifications to it, and it is actually one of the smoothest cars to drive. It's not one of the fastest. It has good speed, but its handling is absolutely perfect perfect if you care about that stuff and speeds just like eh, but you want a car that handles pretty well this is it plus like i said the fact that it looks super sexy um you cannot go wrong with that like i said this pick is so opinionated but this whole video is opinionated it's all based on my opinion and uh, that's why i put this car at number four uh, it's also at the price range of 140000 so that is a very good deal alone for this car, especially with how it looks. Um, you can get it at any time. You can get it so early in the game, but it does lack like the supercar performance, so that's why it is so cheap. It's not meant to be one of the better cars, but that's my number four pick. Let's move on to number three. Guys, and for car number three, we have the VACA at $240,000. I feel like some of you are going to be surprised. But the fact that this is a supercar for the f uh, price of $240,000 is a steal of a deal, especially for a beginner player. Um, obviously, it doesn't compete with some of the top high-end uh, supercars like the X80 Proto or the Progen T20 or the FMJ, the Porsche 911, whatever it is in this game. Um, it's just, it doesn't compete to those cars, but the fact that for being a beginner, freshly into the game, you're looking for a good car, and you can have a nice looking, super, you know, fun to drive, $240,000 sports car that, you know, has some modifications, not many at all, but some to kind of spice up the look of the car and to get you through until you're high enough to boom these people with these nice adders and these narrows and these progens and all this stuff. Then you know what it'll it'll do till then. The performances is better than most. Like I said, it has supercar performance, just not as superior as its um, competitors. But it will do for the average beginner. 
Guys, at the number two spot, we have the Bravado Banshee, which is only going to cost you $105,000. And you may be like, okay, cool. Well, think about it this way. This is the second cheapest car that you can buy on Legendary Motorsports, I do believe. I should have done my research. Um, I'm pretty sure at $105,000, it's the second cheapest car. But the best part about this car is kind of like the Comet in the future if you get money you know and you really like the banshee as is you could take this to Benny's and turn this into the banshee 900 r which actually turns into one of the fastest cars in grand theft auto 5 online and there for a while i do believe the banshee 900 r was the fastest car in the game until they released things like the Progen T20. Actually, it might have been faster than the Progen T20, but it wasn't faster than the X80 Proto. But I'm pretty sure there for a while it was the fastest car in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. And it, it's super sexy. And when you do these uh, uh, Benny's Customs, you guys get so much customization options to really make this car your own. That way it doesn't look like other people and you get to style it your way, which is part of the reason why it's so awesome. And guys, for the number one car for beginners under $250,000 $250, in GTA 5 Online goes to the Elegy RH8. Now, come on, did you really not think this car was going to be number one? It's a free sports car that performs very well. It looks very good, has fair amount of customization options, enough to make this thing look like a total beast. And you didn't think this car was going to be number one. Let's not even forget the fact that you can now take this car to Benny's and create the R34 Skyline. Or it might actually not be an R34 Skyline. I take that back. It's one of those old classic Skylines. It might be an R32. Uh, but you can actually put the Paul Walker vinyls on it as well so you know why wouldn't this car be number one it performs well it's free and that's the point of this video the best car for a beginner well this car is free free and it performs so well that you really don't need to spend money on anything so if you guys are a new player in grand theft auto you just came in you're looking for a perfect beginner car and you're like hmm is the free car really worth it? Um, the free car is very worth it. Very, very worth it. Because it's going to allow you guys um, that cheap car. Maybe customize it a little bit. and It'll still cost less than those other cars that I have put on this list. So you'll have a good looking car. It'll be cheaper. And you'll be set to go to make money to buy your house. So you could do the heists and then buy your CEO office and then make loads and loads and loads and loads of money or however you guys want to do with your money, your choice. But LG RG8, whatever it's called at number one, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like if you made it to the end. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed this video as well and you want to stay tuned for more of our stuff. But anyways, guys, it's been Slim and Lush and we out you.